right, so this video is input seal replacement on a T case, a transfer case for a four wheel drive truck. So the first thing I do, you can see it's kind of recessed in here. You can't really get to, to where you can strike it and bend it to where you can knock it out. So what we do is we'll take a center punch and I'll strike it and not make me a, a, a starter point for my drill. Because I'm going to drill a hole in the seal and I'm going to use a slide hammer to pull it out. So what I'll do is I'll first I'll drill a pilot hole. And don't worry, you won't go too far to do any real damage. You won't do any damage to anything. There's uh, pretty much a bearing that's uh, about almost an inch behind that seal so you won't hit it with the drill bit. So I used a, a small bit to drill my pilot hole. Then I use, I'm gonna get a, a larger bit and this is kind of a narrow seal, so you got to be mindful of that. The first bit size I used was a 7 64th inch bit. The next one, this one is an 11 64th inch bit. So I'm going to go ahead and drill that. Sometimes on these electric drills, the truck, the chuck doesn't hold it real solid, and as it eats into the metal of the seal, it'll bind. So you see me constantly reversing and backing out. And starting. And it's really critical that you get this well centered because you don't want to touch the the transfer case at all because the housing is aluminum and, and the drill bit will chew it up quick. So next, so I use a slide hammer. It has a, a special adapter that threads into that hole. I get a good tight bite on it. Sometimes it'll come loose. I'll just slide it out. But like I said, sometimes it'll it, it'll pull it out like that, and sometimes. If the seal is old and especially stuck, I'll have to drill another hole and kind of get an angle on the other side. Now you can see it's starting to come out. There it is. So I'll wipe all this out, get the metal shavings out, clean up this hub just a little bit, then I'll drive the new seal in. So I'll just run my shop shop towel in here and wipe out the excess metal which there's not much most of it the drill pit pulls it to the outside rather than going on the inside just make sure I got all the debris off there primarily so it doesn't damage the new seal when I put it in so this is the new seal this is a, a GM seal this is a GM transfer case and uh, it's out of a This is out of a 2014 half ton full drive. So you can see the bearing, the seal is pre lubed. Put it in place there. And this is something that some of you may not know about, but a three inch sewer pipe makes an outstanding seal driver. I can't tell you how many seals this works on. So, what I like to do, because I have it on my cart, is I kind of get behind it. the hammer around the driver, use the seal in there, hear the sound, the sound difference, that's when you know it's fully seated. And that's it, that's a seal replacement on a GM transfer case, the input seal replacement, and we usually do this uh, every time we replace a transmission or pull the transmission out, depending on the mileage of the vehicle, typically if it has over 100,000 miles, we go ahead and uh, recommend to the customer to change the seal regardless if it's leaking or not because you've already got it out it's a reduced labor rate and it's just the perfect time to do it all right hope you learned something hope this was helpful thanks for watching I'm tired